Hi, welcome to Life Artists. I'm Barbara Drubay, and this is the place where we embody our creativity. I want to show you how to embody priorities, how to make them real instead of in the future. All right, so today we are back for part two of our series on responsibility. In today's video and training, we will focus on the aspect of our body's natural ability to prioritize. Responsibility of, as we learned from part one, is our ability to respond to the now and to take the next step. Prioritizing is a crucial aspect when we are looking at the endless list of to-dos that is in our experience. Not nah, You need to prioritize. You say, what comes next? What do I want to do next? But let me ask you this. Who sets the stress involved in this experience? Hmm? Let's get real. That stressful list is never going to go away. As long as we are alive, there will be tons of shitload of stuff to do. Hurrah! It means we're still alive. <laughs> The thing is, it isn't the list of the next steps that's the issue. It's the extra worry, the stress, the self-doubts which we bring to that list which cause our experience to be unenjoyable. If you think about it, it is pretty clear what needs to be done. Huh? The next action or possible actions, that's what you do. You need to make that phone call a very simple act. We pick up the phone, we dial the number, and we open our mouths for our body. This is pretty clear. But what happens? Huh? The next step presents itself, and then we add to it a whole internal dialogue. What will I say? It might not work. They won't respond. Maybe I won't communicate it well. And this sends a flood of stress hormones throughout my body, leading to contracted breathing, fear states, tightening muscles, immobility, panic, and eventually loss of focus. Instead of simply focusing on the next step, suddenly our body is made to respond to unending possible scenarios, most of which have nothing to do with reality. Nothing to do with that simple next step of pick up the phone. Our priorities are then split between addressing any number of possible fears and beliefs, conclusions about the perceived outcome of the next moment. That's stressful. One of the more common results that happens is immobility or inaction. Now, since the body is the one doing our actions, the action we end up taking is to become stuck. As an animal, freezing is one of the most stressful moments there is. It means, holy shit, I'm about to become food. <laughs> now, although, there is actually no lion about to eat us most of the time. Our body's physical states react to the danger that we give it from our idea with fight or flight or freeze hormones. Now these hormones give us, okay, a ton of energy, a ton of blood flow, and all of it is prepared to act, to run, to fight. And if there's no other alternative, to freeze. Equally important, these hormones, like adrenaline, essentially give our, us a frontal lobotomy. Our thinking, our problem solving, our learning mind shuts off. And this is often how we end up feeling, incapable and immobile. The body then tries to move us out of potential danger by distracting us. Now, we call this procrastination. That there is no real danger in real reality is kind of beside the point. But we make a very convincing movie and instead of doing what we wanted, agreeing to be excited about that, feeling the adrenaline rush, and using all of that blood flow and energy to actually take action. Instead, we take action with things that depress our energy levels and kind of dumb us down. The crucial thing is we end up doing some other act than the one we originally intended to take. I need to eat a cookie or smoke or Facebook. You know yours. Our priorities then become very muddled. Now for our body, priority is a very simple thing. It's responding to the moment. The next step is the step which we take. We either make that phone call, meeting the unknown and seeing what happens. 
using all that fear as a power surge in that frontal lobotomy to shut up all the doubts and take a jump and leap into the unknown. Or we go into self-doubt, worry, procrastination. And remember, for the body, there is no other possibility as what you're doing in the now. Prioritizing is to be clear about the next steps to take and agree that the next step is simple without adding all the dialogue and self-induced stress. The responsibility of being prioritized. Now let's make this practical and do some embodiment training. Oh, hi, welcome to today's training. We are gonna be looking at how we focus as an embodied experience, and particularly the ways that we become immobile or stuck when we're trying to meet our responsibilities. And the training today is specifically about finding flow through movement and creating energy, yeah? Not only the movement in our bodies, but the movement towards what we want. So let's get started on our training today. Just go ahead and close your eyes. And take a few breaths and start just oh, stretching how your body wants. <clears throat> Feel what it needs. Just let it move a little bit. Breathe, be soft with it. I'm going to encourage you very much this training in particular, but always throughout our lives. Open your mouth, dare to take breath. And don't dare to mm, allow your body to move without uh, uh, holding your breath. Instead, you can move very easily and simply while breathing. And now relax and just start to roll your head and shoulders. And again, notice how whenever we start to make movement, we as if do an effort which we hold our breath. Dare to breathe in and breathe out the whole time. It'll raise your energy level while decreasing your effort level, which is what we want. And now relax. Ah, take a deep breath. And now bring your hands to your chest. Kind of like you're, you know, praying. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna open our chest forward, our hands forward, while expanding our chest with the in-breath. Breathing out, we come back to that area. Breathe in, open and expand. And guys, what we're training at Life Artists is not to do an exercise, because yeah, there's much better ways. What we're training is to feel the experience. Feel when you're Ah, coming close to your body, things relax. Feel when you're breathing in, you're expanding outwards into space. <sighs> Let your pelvis and your hips relax when you breathe out. <sighs> Feel your chest breathing and expanding. Feel the movement there. Oh, now relax, take a deep breath into your chest and again, feel the movement up and down in your body. Oh. You see, every time that we take a minute to really tune in, it's called attention. Really tune in to when I breathe out, wow, there's a flow down, a pause, and there's a relaxation. And then, whew, to breathe in different varieties, different movements. We're taught to breathe and be and act in the same way all the time. And get variety there, guys. It's what our creativity demands. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> we're gonna start to create something which is a state of being, 
I want you to just close your eyes and start to imagine the state of being of a responsibility that you know is in your life right now, which you're avoiding, which you're afraid of, which you are kind of like, oh gosh, it could be a bill, it could be talking to a friend. And I want you to create that experience intensively in your mind. And notice immediately something starts happening in your body. And feel the experience, relive the experience. I call it remembering because it immediately becomes a physical experience. And notice what's happening is your chest contracting. All of us stopped breathing. If you think about we lose and depress our energy levels. We start to freeze and become stuck. And feel this sensation of freezing. Do you know this in your life? Do you know the sensation that's created? Does it feel familiar to you? Now, all these little efforts, I want you to make them a bit more. Feel how you hold your face and the mask that you show the world. Feel how you contract your chest and your belly. Feel what happens in your legs and your back. Feel how your breathing is shallow and intensify it just a little bit. Yeah. And now move a little bit in this contraction and just feel, <clears throat> feel how you would move <laughs> while you're holding this. Feel how you would look at people, feel how you would become. Open your eyes and just feel the sensation around you. Can let your arms relax, but just feel, ah, oh, where am I holding? What am I doing? And feel the sensation. Feel how you would walk in the room. Feel how you would experience other people. And now stop this and relax. And just breathe. Ah, oh, and really relax this. Now notice just these areas that you were holding. We're gonna do what's called stopping movement, which is every beat you feel, you're gonna stop your movement and look for a new movement. We're gonna do it in our chest and our belly area. That means you wanna focus your attention on the chest and the belly. You can even touch it and move and look for new movement and then relax and let your body find new movement. Feel and breathe especially into the chest and belly area. You want to relax and get new movement to those areas. <sighs> Feel and experience how does my pelvis and belly move? You can move your legs and your arms and your head, but your focus is on, oh, I want to feel my chest. And you notice if you start to do the same four movements, that's what we're doing in our creativity also, guys. We get routined and that's what we're trying to break. So look for new movement. Look for new movement. Look, look, look for new movement. And now stop and relax. Ah, oh, and breathe deeply. No. Oh. Oh. Bring a lot of energy up, guys. Let feel your body wants to breathe right now, so keep breathing. Oh. And as you do so, think about that responsibility and move your attention forward. Keep breathing. I managed it. Not only did I manage it, but I got that job. I made that phone call and they said, yes, the bill is paid and I have tons of money left over and start to move with that. Talk. So move again with stopping movement with that feeling. Imagine it, guys. I did it, I did it, I did it. Move your focus to where you want it to be. See, See you 
yourself doing it, guys. See yourself benefiting from it. See how your friends will react to you. See how you'll laugh. See how you'll be. And stop the movement and get your belly and your chest light, excited. Yeah. I did it. Ooh, not only did I do it, but it was amazing. And this is moving your attention into what you want, what you desire, into flow instead of, oh, I can't feel. This is responsibility. Mm. And now relax. Oh. And breathe. And feel and experience what you just created. That was one and a half minutes, guys. In one and a half minutes, by moving your state of mind to where you want it to be, by moving and allowing your breath and body to match that, feel you just created it. Think about when you're looking for this sensation in your life, when you're feeling stuck, feel how you are now. How easy would it be to do your next choice right now? You're full of energy, you're excited. You're still afraid maybe, but Feel, ooh, there's an option. That's creative flow. So, stay tuned for the rest of this video, absolutely. And learning different states of implementing our next steps and having an awesome conversation with our creative community. See you soon, guys. Feel free to use any part of this physical training whenever you get stuck in a freeze response to all the responsibilities you have your life in your life or use it to train throughout the day. You notice you start freezing, use what you just learned, okay? Your body knows how to be in creative flow. It loves to be in creative flow. It wants to be in creative flow, yeah? So all we need to do is learn practices of what that means. Learn states of flow instead of states of non-flow. Now, you can practice the art of freezing and procrastinating and getting your priorities all metal, muddled up, or you can practice the physical flow of moving, raising your level of energy, so you can prioritize. The act you wish to take is simple. Make a priority to pay attention to the now and relax. Now, if you wanna go deeper with this, answer the questions below in implementation and be sure while you're implementing to stay physical. And now let's talk about it. Let's uh, have a discussion. I wanna hear from you and our community wants to hear from you. So we call it a collective we think, we share with the tribe and we get uh, a discussion going and we rethink the subject of priority. So I wanna ask you, what are the ways that you use to break out of procrastination and take the next step? And how did moving, raising your energy levels affect your confidence and allow you to prioritize what that next step will be? How do you feel now and what do you plan and how do you plan to integrate this into your life? So get in on this conversation by going over to www.life-artists.community and join our creative discussion. Get involved, share your truth, and support our mutual creative growth. Your voice is important. We need to talk to each other as creators. Let's shift collectively these ideas and do what we think. Now, if you love what I'm doing, share this, comment, contact me, make sure you sign up for the YouTube page, Find me on whatever social media channels you use. And absolutely, if you're interested about your creative power and embodying that, join me in my live Conscious Creator workshops. Sign up for my newsletter to get exclusive content and to find out when the workshops are happening in your area. And thank you so, so much for joining me. And remember, you are the creator and your experience is truly in your hands.